Okay, today I'll be talking to you about the new instalment to the military simulation series, Armour. First of all, I would like to mention the title. It's built incorrectly, but that's okay, it's only an alpha. But seriously, Armour has become increasingly popular over the years, and this is probably mainly to do with the fact that it's the most realistic military simulator around. Not only graphically, but also in the game mechanics. The system that they use to interact with things is just as odd as in Armour 2. In fact, it's the same. Oh well, I'm sure that if I cared to, I would manage to pick it up. But it's just too much more fun to not understand what's going on. The game is so realistic, you can lean and crap. That's pretty interesting. The only problem with this is the fact that it can sometimes get boring. The scuba mission is spread over a long distance. You have to swim a bit, press a spacebar, swim a bit, press a spacebar. This is because in reality, mines would be spread apart quite a lot. But in the game, you can't put them closer. No, we have to swim for miles. But it's not all bad. Whilst being bored, I started to look at everything else in more detail. The way the water works is incredible. The way it looks is incredible. But if I come to the surface, what happens to my arm? In this game, you really need to enjoy the little things. The aesthetics, the graphical fidelity. There are of course bugs in it, like when swimming you start tripping out and seeing through the ground. And sometimes when you're walking, you get stuck on a non-existent rock. But it's okay. It's in an alpha. I can't wait until I can stop saying that. So, to wrap it up, if you're looking for a really super realistic military shooter, then you will have to get this. But if you're watching this, then you probably already have one from our giveaway. Yep, we have 190 copies to give away to you lucky guys and gals, possibly. All you have to do is subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, and do the flavour a favour and like this YouTube video.